Let me simply drag the PDF and it's editable just like that. So today we'll be looking at the easiest way for you to edit a PDF easily. There are two methods that I'll be showing you. One would be doing it locally on your computer and the other one using a browser which will require you an active internet connection. Starting with the first method using MS Word. Now you might already have MS Word pre-installed in your system so let me go ahead and open it. So once I've opened MS Word, I simply have to go ahead and drag and drop my PDF. So for example, I have my sample PDF over here. Let me go ahead and just simply drop it. And there's this option that this PDF is going to be converted. So let me click on OK. And now we have our sample PDF, which is ready to edit. Let me just simply click on enable editing to edit it easily. Let me click on OK. And now my PDF document has been converted into a Word doc for it to be easily edited. So I've loaded this sample invoice over here. Let me simply go ahead and fill in the details, whatever I may need. Let's say I wish to change the name of Proforma invoice just to invoice. So let me go ahead and edit this. And I can also go ahead and add in a few shipping details. Let's say 143 slash 54, New Orleans Street. 143 slash 54 New Orleans Street. I can also go ahead and change the invoice number, let's say to 233 or 223. And as I told you already, let me also show you how I can add a signature as well. So let me go ahead and use this signature for example. And I'll just simply go ahead and drag it over here. So once I've dragged the signature in, let me just go ahead and resize it to fit it. And here we have it. Here we have our signature as well. So this invoice is good to go. Let me just go and go to save, save as. I'll just go ahead and save this document. So now I have this document saved as a PDF again. So this was about the first method that we use MS Word to edit our PDF, add the signature, make changes to the text, add other details to our PDF and save it again back to a PDF. And also the best part about using MS Word is that you don't need an active internet connection to be using it and you can also do it natively on your computer itself. So let's head over to our next method without using MS Word or any other software installed in your computer. Now for this we'll be using this online PDF editor which is called Sejda. So as you can see this is how Sejda.com looks like. So let me just go ahead and click on upload PDF file. I can go ahead and select my PDF over here and just click on open or I can also go ahead and drag my PDF over here to load it up. Let's say I want to add text over here. Let me go ahead and type in Esther and I also go ahead and change the color to white so that it's visible. I'll just position it over here. Let me also add over here, suppose Raj. And in the same way, I'll just go ahead and reposition this as well. Let's say I want to go ahead and add the shipping details. Let me add in 23 slash 56 Virginia Street, opposite to Clock Tower. So I've also added the address over here. Let me quickly change in the date, suppose to October 7th or 8th. And in the very same way that we added signature in MS Word, let me also go ahead and add my signature over here. I'll just click on images and click on add new image. Let me add in the signature over here. And I can just go ahead and drop it over here. So once I've had it drop, let me just resize it and make sure it fits well over here. So now I've also added my digital signature over here to this PDF. And as you can see over here, we can also add a page to our PDF if we want to just by clicking on this page button over here, insert page over here. So I've added an extra page to my PDF and you can also go ahead and delete it over here if you wish to as well. And once I've edited my PDF, I can simply go ahead and click on apply changes over here so yeah this is how you can also go ahead and edit your pdf online using a browser so now we have our pdf ready for us to get downloaded again so yeah this is how our pdf looks like once we have edited it using an online pdf browser just like sejda.com and now we have our pdf fully edited as we needed it to be and we can just go ahead and share it or use it for the purpose we intended it to be so yeah that was about the two methods that you can use to easily edit pdf files on your computer both with the help of an active internet connection or without. Hope you found this video helpful and I'll see you in the next one.